Okay. Welcome everybody to Zentangle Explore. This is Misha. Sometimes she likes to draw with me. We are going to draw a one Zentangle pattern really, really slowly. I'm so glad you're here joining me either live or on the replay. What you will need is um, some small pieces of the paper you can hold in the palm of your hand. I have watercolor paper and any pen of your choosing. This is a Pigma 05, but whatever pen you have will be just perfect. And if you have color, that will be perfect too. So we're gonna start with a nice meditation and then we will draw for a nice long time. So get nice and comfortable in your seat. You can close your eyes if you like. I'm going to close mine. And just check in with your breath. Hello, breath. Maybe you're inhaling. Maybe you're exhaling. Maybe you're noticing a little stop at the top of the inhale or at the bottom of the exhale. Whatever your breath is doing is just fine. Just follow it with your attention, allowing it to be as it is right now. Allowing any tension to sink down from the top of your head, all the way down to your toes and into the earth. Allowing any thoughts just blow away with your exhale, knowing that they're not needed right now. Knowing that if they're important, they will come back when you're done right drawing and breathing and relaxing. Perhaps begin to feel Any sensations of your breath in your body? Perhaps you can feel your clothing on your skin. Maybe you can sense some coolness at the edge of your nostrils from your breath entering and leaving your body. Perhaps you can feel a gentle expansion of your ribs and your back body, your belly, your shoulders. Whatever it is that you're tuning into, it's just perfect right now. Any thoughts or labels that you're attaching to that? Just allow them to be. No need to weave a story. No need to judge them in any type of way. Allowing sounds in your environment or mind. Just be sounds. Knowing that you are the only one that is making meaning in your life. about your life, about somebody else's life, about sounds in your environment, about texture or scent or taste or anything that you experience. Meaning making is all yours. And as we just breathe and relax, When you're ready, let's take a big inhale together. And a nice sighing exhale. Oh. Nice big inhale. 
And exhale. Oh. And one last big inhale. And exhale. Oh. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Know that whatever we create together today will be perfect just as it is. Okay. So I am going to change my camera. Thank you so much for breathing with me. It's really helpful to do that before we draw. All right. I have a piece of paper here, a couple of pieces of paper, all different sizes. You might want more than one, so you can draw more than one little exploration. This class is all about exploring. It's all about exploring really, really slowly. So if you can hold a pen and draw a line and breathe, you are in the perfect place. So this tangle is called Iluba. And it is by jo Jaxeline Blanco Ruiz, who's a certified Zentangle teacher. So we are going to start. And yours may look like mine, or it may look completely different. That's all about following whatever it is that you are called to draw in the moment. So we're going to start with a line. Nice slow line across the page, and this can go anywhere across the page you like. Probably help if it's a little bit of a longer line to begin. It's always nice to rotate your tile while you draw. I'm going to draw a second line, an aura line, which is just a line that mimics what came before. I'm creating a little band or a little road here. And because this is just mimicking what came before, it's going to be another straight or parallel line. I'm going to draw really, really slowly. I had to lift my pen and that caused a little wobble in my line and a change in the direction. And that is just perfect. To allow that to just be, there's a few skips in my line. That's okay too. Whatever your line looks like is just perfect for this tangle, which is very forgiving. Now on the outside of these lines, I'm going to draw another parallel line, adding a little railroad track. Drawing the line really slowly. Just watching the ink fall onto the page. With a little wiggle. And then I'll turn my tile. Add another little R line, little railroad track to the other side of my beautiful band. And this class is all about exploration. We haven't drawn the whole tangle yet, but just get a sense of what the, the beginning parts are. So we have a band and we have a little edging. This band doesn't need to be straight. You can see how mine kind of telescopes where it's narrow on this end and wider on this end. It could be narrow on both ends or wide on both ends, narrow in the middle, wide in the middle, any combination. Anything that you are wanting to draw is just perfect. So once we have our bands on one side, we are going to draw some orbs. It's going to be a big orb in the middle. I'll show you this right away. You can do this in several different ways. And then some small orbs on the side, smaller, kind of cascading downward. 
You know, these little white triangles that happen when orbs get together. Orbs and triangles like to hang out together. You can color those in black and add a little black if you like. Last week's class, we talked about adding creative black. And that's just black wherever you want it to be. Adds a little grounding to your tangle. And then the last part of this is we're going to add a little aura, just a little bubble above our little beautiful orbs. And then we'll start again. So you can draw this in a number of different ways. I started with a larger orb in the middle before. Now I'm gonna start with the smaller outside orbs. just to give you a different way to begin. Then a little aura to top it off. Now these don't have to be orbs. They could be triangles. They could be rectangles. It could be squares. It could be amorphous shapes. And they show up on one side and then in this beautiful space here between them, they show up on the other side. Maybe the orbs on this side are much bigger. Maybe they're much smaller. Maybe instead of five orbs, you have seven or three or just one. It's absolutely 100% up to you. Maybe your straight band becomes a curved band. Oh, you can draw these whichever way you would like. I'm going to show you a way to overlap them. And so to overlap them, we will start our line, our first line. Somewhere where we know that it's going to run into this band. I'm going to stop, imagine where it goes underneath. And draw it on the other side. Now that you know all of the elements, you can play or change each one. I'm going to make this a really wide band since that's what I'm interested in exploring. And I'm going to curve this edge just for fun because I have a pen and I can. Having my little or a line on the outside. Maybe you decide you don't want an or a line on the outside. That's okay. Maybe you decide you want two or a lines on the outside. That's okay. Maybe you decide you want orbs along the outside. Or short little lines. 
little vertical lines or little dashes. Maybe your aura line, little railroad track wants to be black or purple, green. Each of these elements is yours to play with. Really, really slowly. I love practicing drawing orbs because drawing them fast is a really great way to get a shape other than an orb. <laughs> so they invite you, invite me to slow down. And be mindful and intentional what my line is doing. And if you get something other than an orb, then that is a beautiful creation. I love a misshapen orb because it adds so much character to the page. What I love about this practice is it allows you to see things differently. To take this tangle that is quote unquote supposed to look like X, Y, or Z. Say, what if it looked like P, Q, and R? What if it looked like A, B, C? What would it look like if I made it look like A, B, C? something other than what it is while still maintaining the essence of the original. So far, I haven't varied that much. Just laying the size and shape, mostly size. And layering which is always fun to do. If you don't wish to draw behind, you can draw right over what you've already drawn. If you so choose. And layering also allows you to work with partials. So now I know that my little orbs want to be right here, but it's blocked. So I ask, what part of that can I still see? Just it won't be very much. Maybe the little orb on the end. Maybe I imagine drawing all of these and see what part comes out on the other side. Maybe I make it up completely, knowing that these are my lines. Therefore, whatever they look like is just right. You can feel free to begin on a new piece of paper whenever you would like. Just breathing and drawing slow lines. Slowing yourself down. Here, I'm gonna start with my little railroad track because I know that I need two of them and I'll form a band. I can start wherever I want in the tangle. If you wanted to really explore, you could start with your orbs and add your lines later. There's no exploration that 
can't be explored. Whatever it is, it's calling you. Try it. Even in the coloring in the black spaces or whatever color you're using, it's an opportunity to breathe and slow down. <clears throat> Watch the ink sink into the page. Relax your hand. It allows your creative mind to Pop in little ideas for new explorations. And we slow down and breathe. Just appreciating the line exactly as it is. Maybe it's a little wiggly. Maybe you want it to be thicker than it is. Maybe it can be just perfect exactly as it is. Maybe your orbs want some pattern on the inside. Maybe you want to play with continuing that aura throughout the center of the band, allowing it to pile up and fill the space. Maybe something else wants to fill the space in the band. Maybe your band wants to branch and why. As I was talking about exploring, it's really lovely to draw these over and over again. Perhaps challenge yourself to draw one a day or more than one and see what new exploration comes to mind.
to allow yourself to ponder, well, this is what I did here. What else? What else might want to come? And allowing that to actually become, without judging it, just saying yes to that exploration idea. I'm going to try it. I don't care if I think it sounds like it won't work. Maybe I won't like it. Maybe you won't like it, but you're not going to know. I should take the opportunity to find out. Maybe your orbs want to connect to the sides instead of being actual orbs. Show you here what that looks like. You have an orb and you've got a little flat bottom to it. It says sitting on top. Actually sits right on the page. It looks mostly the same, just has a little bit of a different look to it. Maybe this aura around the orbs, this little space, maybe that wants to be black. Or a different color. Just breathing, drawing slow lines. Back to that hand, easing any tension in the shoulders. Allowing whatever is appearing on the page to be just perfect as it is.
saying yes to every exploration idea. Wonderful part about this is that there's no wrong way to explore. Your way is the perfect way. When you can remember that and really embrace it, that everything you draw is delightful, whether you meant to draw it or not. 
And that is a beautiful practice in drawing and in life. Okay, this right here, this beautiful creation is mine. And I can judge it as less than and compare it to others, or I can embrace it for what it is right now, no matter what that is. Knowing that I created it. Nobody else could have created it just like this. And it will never exist again, except in this moment. And therefore it is precious and beautiful and worthy of acceptance and acknowledgement. Nothing else to do. Breathe and draw slow lines. I love this exploring class, and I love that all of you come to explore with me.
anybody's asking themselves, am I doing this right? The answer is yes. Yes, you are. Okay, time went really fast. Here are my explorations. Yours may look very, very different. That is perfect. Thank you for drawing with me. Super exciting. So I will be drawing again next week. You are welcome to join me in person or also on the replay. If you would like to donate to this class, paypal.me slash eternal possibility. And I really hope that you, um, if you enjoyed this pattern, that you keep drawing it on the rest of your little blank pieces of paper for the rest of the week. So thank you so much. Have a great week.